Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and hit on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Paige arnoff Sun on the line, and she is founder and CEO at Mavens and Moguls. Paige, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me, Adam. It's great to be here today. All right, Paige. So I'm excited to talk to you today. So um, one of my favorite topics, um, branding in the digital age. What does that look like? Why is it important? I'm completely biased, as everybody knows, because I'm a big fan of branding. And I mean, that's my business, right? Media. So I love to bring on other people and other thought leaders to give their view on it so everybody that's listening to this realizes it's just not my bias. It's just an important thing to do. So um, we'll get into that. But before we do, I'd like to start with our signature question. So uh, Paige, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. So that's our mission here. Paige, what mission matters to you? So at Mavens and Moguls, our mission is to bring world-class marketing talent and expertise to organizations that want to make a difference in the world regardless of their size or budget. I believe every organization deserves the right words and pictures to tell their story in a compelling way. So I love helping organizations develop their mission statement that's consistent with their core values because that's an intangible asset that becomes your roadmap to success. It'll be authentic to you because it's, you know, what what's unique, special, and different about you. It's awesome, Paige, and uh, love bringing mission-based entrepreneurs and executives on the line to share their stories. So um, let's just dive right in. So first off, um, tell us a little bit more about Mavens and Moguls. So Mavens and Moguls, I started it 20 years ago, right after 9-11. It's hard to believe. Hmm. Um, I never expected to be an entrepreneur or start a company. I spent the first part of my career in corporate uh marketing at Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola. I was the head of marketing at three successful startups that all had good exits. And when 9-11 happened, as you probably remember too, kind of the economy went topsy-turvy, a lot of the marketing budgets and jobs dried up. And because I had run marketing at three successful dot-coms that were all venture-backed, a lot of VCs and private equity folks came out of the woodwork asking me to help them during this crisis period. I knew all these amazing people that had gotten recently laid off, and I knew all these interesting companies and organizations that needed great talent. So I called the women the marketing mavens and the guys the marketing moguls. For short, they're the mavens and moguls. And we just started coming together and forming teams and helping clients solve their marketing problems. And we've been at it ever since. I never wrote a business plan. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to start a company and hang out a shingle. It was just I saw an opportunity. Um, I had the right skill set. I had the right kind of people and projects. And here we are, fast forward. I've now worked for myself, I don't know, five or six times longer than I ever lasted working for anybody else. Um, So I joke, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get sick of my boss this time. (laughs) Um, But I love it. You know, I love branding. I've been doing this since 1990 
when I started my marketing career in brand management at P&G. And I love helping organizations, you know, find their why. It's it just it's exciting, it's fun, and I love, you know, I think I'll do this. I don't know that I'll ever retire. I just I love what I do. That is awesome, Paige. Um, so let's go further into um, into just the branding side of things. So branding in the digital age, um, you know, okay, so somebody's listening to this right now, and again, this is my bias, right, but they're like, you know, Adam, but I'm not a media guy. Like, I don't need my face here. I don't need to be here or there, like all these things. I'm not famous or I'm not this, I'm not that. Like, why is branding important to you in the digital age? So branding is everything in the digital age. Like, basically, you do not exist today if you're not found online. If somebody is told about you, they're going to call you, they're going to meet with you, they're going to Zoom with you, they get an email from you, one of the first things you probably need to realize is assume they're going to Google you and find out who you are. Like, is this person worth returning the call? Is this someone I want to meet, meet virtually or have coffee with? And if you don't exist, you're nobody. It's Hmm. almost better if your name is the same as like a serial killer or a porn star online. (laughs) At least then you've got a funny story to tell. But if you don't exist, like they're going to wonder, why would someone want me to meet with this person? Why should I talk to them? So everybody, whether you realize it or not, whether you think of yourself as a brand or not, Everybody's a brand. You do not need to be LeBron James or Cindy Crawford or Miley Cyrus or Michael Jordan or Oprah Winfrey. They are obviously big brands, but everybody's a brand today. And with social media, everybody has a platform. So you've got to really think about yourself as a brand, and you need to really review your online persona, how you look on Facebook versus Twitter versus LinkedIn versus maybe a company website. Is it consistent? Is it relevant? Like you can't be one kind of person on one platform and a completely different kind of person on a different platform. That does not really hold well in this world where there's a lot of transparency. Being a consistent brand an authentic brand really serves you well in the in the digital age. So, you know, so people are listening to this right now, and they're like, "Yeah, okay, I get it. I need to do that, but where, where do I start? Like, where do I start? I don't if I don't have an online presence out there. Like, it's just overwhelming. There's so many different things. Like, do I start with getting on 30 social media platforms? Do I start by um, launching a podcast? Do I start by like? Well, there's so many things to choose. Like, and I know this is going to vary, and you know, from person to person. But um, where do you think somebody should start as they kind of start going down that path? So we talked about authenticity a minute ago. I think you have to kind of canvas your own strengths and weaknesses and do what's authentic to you. I do not think you need to be everywhere, but I think you need to figure out what plays to your strengths and do that. If you like Twitter because you like to be short and sweet, then go with Twitter. If you're a professional, if you have a professional service firm like I do, I think LinkedIn is a very good platform. You know, if you like to blog, you should blog. But don't try and spread yourself too thin because part of being a great brand is being very visible and being very consistent. If you are only going to blog once every blue moon, that, that can dilute your brand because blogging, it's an ongoing conversation. And if you're engaging, people expect you to come back every, you know, two or three days at, at least, if not more regularly. So you have to look at what, what works for you. If you're a business, I'd argue you have to have a website. It can be a single-page website. It doesn't have to be fancy with lots of bells and whistles. But there has to be a place for people to find you. And, you know, again... You don't need to be, if, you're, if the, your customers or clients are not on Instagram or Pinterest or Facebook, you don't need to be there. If you want to do it, that's great. But if you're doing it for business reasons, 
make sure you have a business presence. So I would say less is more. Be professional. You can err on the side of clean, simple, professional. Like I said, there are a lot of legitimate businesses with very simple, like, brochureware websites. But if you have a website, it needs to be mobile-friendly because most people are accessing websites on a mobile device today, that you should have, you know, excellent content, good quality with keywords. It should be uh, optimized for search, SEO-friendly, maybe voice search because a lot of people are doing voice search now. So just make a few smart decisions, and you'll be, you'll be great. Fantastic. So, so final question, Paige, and this is a two-part question. So um, first off, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about mavens and moguls, um, like what do you find are the types of individuals, businesses, organizations that typically get the most value out of working with you and your team, like whether it's size of company, industry, niche, or otherwise, um, num question number one. And then uh, number two, like how do people follow up and connect with you and your team? So the first question is, um, we're, we're industry agnostic. We work with people in all different categories, small, medium, and large, for-profit, non-profit. The, the core kind of organizations we work with tend to be mid-market, emerging market firms, kind of $2 million to $200 million in revenue. Um, companies that, you know, they have a... a identified marketing problem, but maybe they don't have a full marketing team in-house or they're not big enough to justify a huge agency to work with them. They need more scrappy kind of entrepreneurial resources. Having said that, we work with a lot of early stage startups, pre-revenue, venture-backed companies. They may need a logo or a tagline. They may need their first website. They may have a trade show. They may need packaging for a new product. Uh, they may need help writing a white paper or doing some content marketing, or we could help them set up a blog. We also work with Fortune 500 companies. Those companies obviously have marketing departments. They have agencies of record. But they may have an isolated problem where they just don't have the right team or staff, and they bring us in almost like a SWAT team to come in and solve their problem. So um, if you have a marketing problem and you want to, you know, noodle on it and see if it's something we might be able to help, feel free to look me up. Easy to find online. With a name like mine, um, it's really me if you Google me. And you can go to my website, mavensandmoguls.com, spelled out, M-A-V-E-N-S-A-N-D-M-O-G-U-L-S.com. And I'm also on LinkedIn, Paige Arnoff hyphen Finn. And as one of the venture capitalists said to me when I ran into her at an event, she had lost my business card. And since I have a hyphenated last name and a two word name of a company, all she could remember was Paige and Mavens. So she Googled it and she found me right away. So if you remember anything, you can find me, I promise. Fantastic. Well, Paige, uh, it's, first off, it's been a pleasure having you on the show and learning more about you and uh, all the great work that you're doing over at Mavens and Moguls. And for people that have been listening to this for a long time, that's just one more person on my side of the camp that believes that branding and all this marketing and everything else that we always talk about on our on our show day in and day out, that it matters, it means something, and that it is part of uh, moving your business and brand forward. So um, thank you again, Paige, for coming on. And also to the audience, if this is your first time, time listening or if you're a first time um, visitor here definitely hit that subscribe button we have many more mission-based entrepreneurs and business owners and experts coming up for you and we don't want you to miss a thing and Paige thanks again for coming to the show it's been a pleasure thank you so much Adam I've had a lot of fun